Creationists often laugh at evolution. They find the idea of common ancestry ridiculous. The Bible doesn't talk about evolution. The Bible says all the world's animals were instantly brought into being, fully formed, on one of the days of creation. Kurt Cameron, once child star turned evangelical Christian, was once interviewed by Fox talk show host Bill O'Reilly and asked how he would convince an atheist there was indeed a God. As part of his answer, Cameron gave his reason for rejecting evolution, which he then believes would leave the door open to the only remaining alternative to explain how living things populated the planet, the assertion that God did it. Darwin said in order to prove evolution, which is the number one alternative to, to God, you've got to be able to prove transitional forms, one animal transitioning into another. And all through the fossil record and life, we don't find one of these. A crocoduck. Well, first of all, crocodiles and birds follow different evolutionary paths. We shouldn't expect to see one of these monstrosities. Crocodiles and ducks do share a common ancestor, sometime far back in their histories, but that common ancestor would have looked nothing like either a crocodile or a duck. What evolution predicts, and what we do in fact find, are animals which possess ancestral and derived features. Ancestral features, as the name implies, are those that have been retained from an ancestor in the animal's past. Derived features are new adaptations, chosen by natural selection as better equipment in the survival of the species. The truth of the matter is, all biological things were or are transitional. All things stand between what was and what will be, unless, of course, an animal represents the end of an evolutionary line. Organisms exist in what scientists call nested hierarchies. A nested hierarchy is quite a bit like a Russian doll. Groups of related organisms share bundles of similar characteristics, and the number of these shared characteristics increases with relatedness. In other words, the closer we move toward the common ancestor between two related organisms, the more these shared characteristics will increase. Creatures, like a crocodile-headed bird, would falsify common ancestry, not support it. But since creationists like Kirk Cameron like to look at pretty pictures of silly-looking animals, Perhaps we can entertain them for a while with pictures of real animals, possessing traits evolution has provided for them. Not quite crocoducks, but things like wolf whales. Beaver ducks. Zebra giraffes. Bird fish, dino birds, and the impressive fish izzard gator. But these likely won't impress the creationist enough for them to accept evolution. That's because they have their own transitional creature which they worship. And this creature said that animals didn't evolve, but that he alone made them from scratch. The God-Man. <laughs>